When I Was Puerto Rican, is a memoir written by Esmeralda Santiago that chronicles her childhood experiences growing up in rural Puerto Rico before moving to New York City. Throughout the book, Santiago explores themes of identity, cultural conflict, and the power of education. One of the central themes of the memoir is the struggle to reconcile conflicting cultural identities. Santiago was born and raised in Puerto Rico, but her family's poverty and her parents' tumultuous relationship made it difficult for her to feel like she fit in with her community. This feeling of not belonging is compounded by the fact that Santiago's mother is obsessed with American culture and constantly reminds her children that they are Los Americanos, despite their Puerto Rican heritage. Santiago's own desires for education and self-improvement are also at odds with traditional expectations for women in Puerto Rican society, which value domesticity over intellectual pursuits. This cultural tension is evident throughout the book, and Santiago's personal journey to reconcile her Puerto Rican and American identities is a major source of conflict and growth. Another important theme in When I Was Puerto Rican is the transformative power of education. Throughout the memoir, Santiago demonstrates a fierce determination to educate herself and escape the poverty and limitations of her upbringing. Despite facing numerous obstacles and setbacks, Santiago's unwavering dedication to her studies ultimately leads her to achieve academic success and pursue a career in writing. Education is portrayed as a means of empowerment and liberation, enabling Santiago to break free from the constraints of her culture and create a new life for herself. The memoir also explores the role of gender in shaping Santiago's experiences. As a young girl, Santiago is expected to conform to strict gender roles, which limit her opportunities for education and personal fulfillment. Her mother is a particularly influential figure in this regard, constantly reminding her daughter of the importance of being a good wife and mother. However, Santiago is determined to challenge these expectations and pursue her own goals, even if it means going against the norms of her culture. Her success in achieving academic and personal independence serves as a powerful example of the possibilities for women who are willing to challenge gender roles and expectations. Santiago's writing style is characterized by vivid descriptions and sensory details that transport the reader to the lush, tropical landscape of Puerto Rico. Her use of Spanish words and phrases adds an authentic flavor to the memoir and underscores the importance of language and culture in shaping identity. Santiago also employs humor and irony to great effect, particularly in her portrayal of her mother, whose larger-than-life personality and contradictions provide a rich source of material for the memoir. Overall, When I Was Puerto Rican is a powerful and moving memoir that explores the complex issues of identity, culture, and education through the lens of one woman's personal experience. Santiago's vivid prose and relatable portrayal of the struggles and triumphs of growing up in a multicultural environment make this book a compelling and thought-provoking read. By sharing her own story, Santiago inspires readers to consider their own identities and the role of culture and education in shaping who we are and who we can become.